Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. We're good? No, no. We're good? Yeah. Okay. We're back. I got my hands as yeah. much. It was, uh, it was really fun. It was great. It was just the two of us. It, it, was, uh, of, it was a lot of dialogue, but it sort of slowed down the patient filming, so that was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. And they definitely, because it was just the two of us, they let us kind of live in it a little bit. We had the time to explore these things because it was a different episode because the puzzle is so complicated that like you're shooting scenes and you're like, what does this mean? And then you're like, oh right, this is because this is a trigger for this scene. And so in the midst of us figuring each other out as where we stand as a relationship or a couple, we're just as much figuring out what the crime was that left the lab empty. Yes, yes. yes. And I love the director of this episode, John Batten. Yeah, did a great He's job. He's like a lovely guy, and a true gentleman, and clearly a lifelong, you know, pro. And, and so it's been great working. It's the second time we've worked with him. And it was fun because we drop a little bit of like some Easter eggs that if you are paying attention, you'll notice. And if not, it's one of those episodes that you're going to want to go back and be like, now that you know the end game, you're like, oh my gosh, that uh, makes yeah. so much sense. And so that was really fun to kind of drop yeah. little hints and little, yeah. you know, oddities in, in, in a mix. So, so Cameron has a new role in the Stitch Lab. Yes. He's kind of moved up. He's the new Maggie. Yeah. Um, how is that going to affect kind of his relationships within the lab itself? Uh, I think he's kind of like been given some, you know, some tough love from his coworkers and friends about, you know, like, come on, boss, you gotta, you know, play the boss card. He's like, I'm not this guy. I didn't want this job. But in it, I think he gets a certain kind of confidence he that, matures, yeah, he definitely matures yeah. and grows. And eventually, it comes to a head with Maggie. He's like, look. You can, you know, look me in the eye, you know, the, the boss to boss, manager to manager, whatever. What is the purpose of this program? And she eventually kind of lets him in on that because he eventually comes to her and says, I'm not doing this, you don't tell me. And so then there's a mutual respect at that moment between Cameron, Kirsten, and Maggie because we are, without all of us, there's... He also figures out what his priorities are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So do we see any kind of closure at the end of the season between Kirsten and I would say you see a closure within the mythology that you've been watching for the first three seasons. That definitely comes to a, a close. And but there's a it, very but satisfying it. fan moment in episode 9. But the twist of the finale, the cliffhanger, is literally draw-dropping. Where you're like, what does this mean now? What is the show going to be now? And it, to me, it's the most exciting season that we have yet to get picked up for. But if we do, <laughs> I'm literally, I'm, I'm very excited to come back because I think yeah, it just, I think it, it, would be it opens up a whole new world yeah. for the Stitches program, so, yeah. yeah. So, first is still writing over what she perceives to be a betrayal by Cameron. What ultimately is it going to take for her to look at um, I think it, she's going to take Cameron figuring out his priorities, and I think it really takes him, yep, yep. <laughs> Stop flirting with Zelda. I think it's going to take <laughs> Yeah, I think it's really going to take him uh, seeing that he's really on her team and not Maggie's. So you just teased a musical episode in the you know, future that doesn't exist yet. We're just throwing ideas to free folks' way. I know you're a musical kind of guy, so yes. what kind of songs would you see for Cameron or for Kirsten? I feel like there would definitely be some sort of like... You know, like love ballad that he wins her back oh, with. Yeah. You know, some like Definitely some like ballad. confessional thing maybe that would maybe a little West Side Story instead oh, of Maria. I mean, like, it's yeah, Kristen, the most beautiful sound he's ever. Kyle, Kyle West Tony. Yeah. West Side Story. So, and then I would be really excited to see Linus have like a giant Bollywood number. That would be like. <laughs> oh my God! Cause, because because Tesh can actually know, do it. Like he can dance. A dancer, and he really does. So, like, he can we're throwing all the ideas to freeform and hopefully it'll let us do it. The Frankenstein lounge or something. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I think it should be a flash mob. Flash mob, you know? A flash mob, exactly. Sudden, like, That's how Kirsten yeah. and Cameron get engaged. Cameron proposes with a giant flash mob. I don't know, it's a soft pitch. We're working on it. <laughs> That's where you want to see the characters go? And it'd be definitely very cheesy for Cameron to do that, yeah. Do, are you like <laughs> seeing a cheesy engagement in the... I think so. If there's a, really? I feel like, I definitely feel like there'd be some sort of thing. He, you know, I could talk about this show for days. It, it will never end up on screen, but I've got so many different, like, you know, fan fictions in my... Yeah, it's all right. I got a lot of time in between seasons, so yeah, I keep it to myself. Thank you. Thank you so much. As best I can. Thanks, guys. This is my house. Nice to see you guys. Thank you.